Hello, I'm Jillian Jorgensen. I'm the Education Director at Book It Repertory Theatre. My name is Nora, I'm in sixth grade. My name is Ruchi, I'm in seventh grade. Today, we are going to do a lesson adventure called When It Rains in the Middle of the Ocean. This adventure was inspired by a song that is also called When It Rains in the Middle of the Ocean. And it's by a local band that's called Awesome. For this adventure, you don't really need any materials at all. Mostly you need your imagination, and you just need to decide somewhere in your house or outside that you'll use for the ocean, and that you'll use something for a little boat or a raft. Like, hey Nora, what do you think we could use for a boat or a raft? You could do the traditional take some stuff that you have in your house and make it a boat. Yeah, yeah, just something in your house. A garbage boat, maybe. Maybe not a garbage boat, like but a cardboard uh, box. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, like a cardboard box. Maybe you've Just got like a big one. You can sit in it and grab some sticks and go. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Yeah, you could totally do that. You could totally. You you really really can. It can be anything at all in your house. You probably want to have an agreement with your family that it's okay to use that thing as a boat. Could be a bean bag or some stairs around your house. You could even be outside or on a log or just in the middle of the living room. I like the log idea. <laughs> okay. We're going to go set up our boat and our ocean. Here we are in our boat. We chose our bean bag and we put it right in the middle of our blue rug to be a little boat on the ocean with a family all together. Once upon a time, Nora and Ruchi woke up from a dream and found it was real. First, we look across and imagine the ocean. Imagine the water and we imagine what time of day? Twilight. <gasps> Twilight, not morning, not dawn, not the middle of the night, but twilight as the sun is just about to go down. Look across the water. You can see the color of the sky. And imagine everything there. Everything, everything, gentle and still. Hmm, Nora. What do you see across the sea? Whales and dolphins. <laughs> I see them too. Ruchi, what do you see across the sea? I see wide open sky and wide open dark, dark water. Wide open sky and dark, dark water. I see it too. What do you imagine across the sea? What does the water feel like? Nora, put your hand, Nora and Ruchi, put your hands in the water. What's the temperature of the water, Ruchi? It's pretty cold, but not so cold like ice cold. Like cold that you can put your hand in and it feels good on a hot day. Mm. Nora, what does it feel like to you? Cold, but nice like, oh, fish! <laughs> hey, I got one too! Ah, what do you imagine the water feels like? Snuggle in? As we snuggled in, we noticed the weather started to change. Clouds start to form. Wait. And little raindrops started to fall. Is that cloud... Wait, is it just me? Ugh. Or is... Does that cloud look like it has sparkles in it? <gasps> oh, Ruchi. When it rains in the middle of the ocean, it's not raining at all. It's not raining at all. Drop by drop, they fell from the sparkling cloud. Drop by drop into the ocean. And as each drop fell, it turned into a fish. Look! <gasps> And as each drop fell, another fish <sighs> came. As each drop fell, another fish came. As each drop fell, another 
fish came. Oh, oh. Nora, what do you imagine your fish looks like? My fish is colorful with fins like fans. Oh, Ruchi, what do you imagine your fish looks like? My fish is a clearish, sparkling silver with feather-like fins that are a dark gray with rainbow sparkles everywhere. Oh, thank you. Nora and Ruchi, their fish are kind of on their knees because that's how much space we have here to show you our ideas. Your fish can be as tall or as small as you imagine. The fish swam and swam and sparkled, but back on the boat, when it rains in the middle of the ocean, it's not raining at all. It's not raining at all. Ruchi, dip your hand into the water and scoop up that fish. Nora, dip your hand into the water and scoop up that fish. You can scoop up a fish with us too. These fish, these raindrop fish, can also grant one fish wish. Whisper your wish to the raindrop fish. Whisper. And once you've done that, let the fish go. Oh, oh my goodness, what would happen next? Would we still sail? Would our wishes come true? Nora, what would you want to do next? Would you want to act it out, write it down, or draw it? I think I would draw it. You would draw? What kind of drawing do you think? Um, maybe a picture of the fish swimming deeper and deeper into the ocean. Me Ooh, too. Lovely. I would draw it too. You would draw it too. Thank you. I think I might I think I might write it as a play. Maybe even a musical with Ooh. some gentle lullaby songs. What would you do? Write it? Act it? Or draw it. I love to explore with my imagination and the people in my family because then our time together is two stories. The story we invented and the story of being together. Today I have extra thank yous for my daughters Nora and Ruchi and for my husband Basil who's behind the camera. When you make your story you can make one with your family or your neighbors or even one all by yourself. Thank you for joining us for When It Rains in the Middle of the Ocean. Happy creating.